Hi, I'm Dan Nelson from the Music and Creative Arts team from the Salvation Army. Today we're going to look at how to create a multimedia presentation that accompanies a piece of music. Uh, that could be a live performance or a recording. We'll revisit sites where we can get good content and we'll look at how to put those into a presentation in a way that's going to communicate effectively with its audience. There are going to be a lot more creative decisions with this kind of presentation along the way, so we're going to spend some time thinking about how we do that. For this example, I'm going to use a band piece from the 2021 Unity Series Journal by Ken Downey, and it's his beautiful meditation on Beechwood. This is a really lovely piece of music, and the lyrics naturally create images in our minds, so that's really helpful. But also, because this is a piece of music which is based on words that we probably don't sing very often these days, then we need to find a way of making sure that our audience, our congregations, can understand what Ken is trying to communicate through his music. And it, the piece of music exists beautifully on its own. So remember that what we are doing, we're not replacing anything that exists already. We're adding to that, we're enhancing that. So communicating, particularly the words of the song that Ken has used as his focal point in this piece will be really helpful. We do not want to see every element of PowerPoint wizardry. We are not looking for some big spectacle. We just want to give them something to think about in this piece of music. Before I listen to my piece of music, I'm going to head over to here, the Salvation Army Music Index. This is a great site for any Salvation Army music, and I can search brass or vocal music and find out information about it. I can download copies if I want to. There's usually a recording, and I'm just going to type in here, Beechwood, and I've got Ken's meditation on Beechwood here at the top. There is a recording here that I can play, and what I'm really after is these score notes. And here we can see that he's included the first verse of our song. And that's not a song I know well, so I'm copying and pasting that. And I'm searching here, I uh, typed it into Google, and I found my lyrics. So I've got five verses to look at. I'm going to listen to my piece of music. I'm going to look at the score. I'm going to think about these words, and I'm going to see what fits where. We have to remember, because it's a band piece, we're not going to hear those lyrics in full. OK, in fact, we're not going to hear the lyrics at all. We're going to have to decide which bits of the lyrics fit which, with which part of the music. And we're going to have to decide what we show uh, in link sections between uh, verses, etc. So let's head on over to the piece of music. So here we are. We're on the score. We're listening to the piece of music. The song starts off with God who, who made the earth. So we want a picture of the earth during, gradually fading in during this introduction, I think. And then we're heading here into verse one. And it's God who made the earth the air, the sky, the sea. So those are images that we can use really easily in those first couple of lines here. The third line, who gave the light its birth? So we want something to do with light, maybe sun rays coming through the clouds. And then we've got this last line here, each verse, he cares for me. So we're gonna to have to think about ways that we can find a picture that demonstrates God caring for us. Maybe holding hands with a, with a father and a child, or an embrace, or something like that we're gonna to have to find some different images that reflect that because it's in each and every verse in this link section here we're looking i put nature i want to find pictures of nature that i can use god who created the earth but then as we get through this section here where it starts to get more chromatic we're going to look for something that may be a bit darker and leading to a different uh, kind of mood as we head into this section here section c and you're here we've had the tune one line at a time with a kind of little interjection in between. So I'm looking at my verses. I think probably verse three is gonna work best for this. So God who made the sun, we'll be able to pause on that picture of the sun. The moon, the stars is he. And the reason I'm choosing verse three here, this line, for when life's clouds come, and we're thinking this verse is a bit darker in the music, so it's, we're kind of thinking about when life's clouds are coming, then it says, he'll care for me. And we repeat that, he'll care for me. The line four of the tune is here and it's repeated again, rising up in a step. Before we head into our next link section, so there's no necessarily lyrics for this. Even though that's a recounting of line three of the melody, I can't find a good line for it to stand on, on its own from these lyrics. So I'm gonna leave that and just do some more nature pictures, maybe linking together here and we've got these little solos from the cornet and from the euphonium so we might again a bit darker a bit more moody maybe as we head on to the end of this section so we're going to be looking for pictures that reflect that mood of the music 
And as we come into letter E here, I'm going to use verse five, which is God who sent his son to die on Calvary. So we're going to, instead of having a picture for every line, I want to use a picture and let it settle a bit more. So I'm going to have a picture of a cross, hopefully, if I can find a good one for the first two lines there. God who sent the son to die on Calvary. And then for these last two lines, he, if I lean on him, will care for me. So we're looking for another picture there which demonstrates God's care, uh, maybe holding hands or embracing, or maybe God as a shepherd, uh, potentially. We'll, we'll look at different ways that we can explore that. And then as we head into this last section here, we've got just kind of another linking bit towards the end, or the code, as you might want to think of it. And it's based on that first line, God who made the earth, God who made all things, God who sent his son. We might find something that we can use in there, but it might just be that we settle on a nice image that gradually fades away as the music fades out there. So we're going to head over to, uh, to find some images and we're going to get going on creating a presentation that works really well with this piece of music, which I'm sure you'll agree is absolutely beautiful. You just won't really have heard it because I've been talking the whole time. So here we are. I'm going to jump over to, uh, we're at pexels.com here. You can use Pixabay, you can use Unsplash. You, as long as you're using royalty-free images, that's fine. We must make sure that we're using images that we have permission to use. And we're not just Googling and picking up random images like we talked about last time. We're just going to go through a few of the pictures. I'm not going to make you sit and watch every single photo that I need to find. Uh, but I'm going to start off. It's God who made the earth. So I want a picture of the earth to start off with. And actually, I could go scrolling through hundreds and hundreds of photos of the Earth, as you can see here, and then, then we'll go into globes and nature pictures. But actually, for me, that first one there is just beautiful. It really sums up what I want to do because I want to gradually fade in on the Earth as my starting point. So I'm just going to download that one there. That will go straight into my downloads folder. Uh, I'm Next, I want something that's going to do the sea and the sky. And what I don't want to do, I don't want to fire images at people really quickly so that they don't get to take anything in. So if I can find a picture that does sea and sky and who uh, who gave the light its birth, if I can find a picture that kind of does that for me, you can see I'm getting lots of people and I try to avoid loads, having loads of people. Uh, I want something that, that's uh, landscape instead of portrait resolution so it fits nicely on my PowerPoint presentation. I don't need to crop it or move it about too much. Actually, this is a really nice image because we've got the sea, we've got the sky, and then we've got the light that kind of is shining over that. So that's a really nice one. That'll do me lines two and three of my first verse. And now for my last line of that verse, he cares for me. I want to find, uh, so I'm going to search maybe, uh, I, I, ideally what I want to find is a picture of a dad holding a child and see the, the child's head over the dad's shoulder. That's what I'm looking for. Um, but often I, I sum up in my mind what I want to see and it's not necessarily readily available. Um, and because I've searched dad and shoulders, that there's lots of kids sitting on their dad's shoulders. So that's not looking great in terms of finding exactly what I'm after. Uh, but I need to look through and see, is there something that I can use as a compromise? So this picture of the dad's hand and the baby holding, that would be a really nice one if I turn that sideways. So you want something that's going to represent this one here. Okay, beautiful picture. Let's download that one. He cares for me. That looks, that's a really nice one. And this is a lovely one as well. I might take that one as well and use that later on in the song. Uh, let's just do a, pick out another couple bits of the song that we're going to search for. Uh, so I want a picture of the sun. God who made the sun. That, I mean, that's a stunning picture. If that were landscape i would love that one um, in fact is it big enough there's that water picture that we used before that one is a great one as well where, where was that uh here look at that one the sun coming over the trees that's beautiful let's take that one then we want moon and stars for the second line of verse three i think it was that's quite a nice one i quite like that something that's this is a bit clearer of the moon against the stars so that was probably best to be that if it was if there wasn't a person in the way but i don't particularly like having people in the way yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna go with that one 
where was it with the whole moon there we are that's a nice looking one and then we want clouds and this is uh who when clouds come so we want some kind of dark clouds uh, and that again straight away the first picture there is really moody really um this one as well really kind of atmospheric sort of picture so we're, we're just going to scroll down and find some who when there you are look at that when those clouds come so that that's what i'm doing i'm searching through i've got an idea in my head from the from the from the music and that's what i'm trying to find something that represents that now i flipped through you may end up scrolling through for a, a lot longer than i've done to find a picture that fits and often we're going to have a piece of music maybe that doesn't necessarily uh, have such visual content so it might be that we pick one picture and we hold that picture for an entire verse because this is such a descriptive uh, set of lyrics and a, a piece of music which matches those really nicely we can afford to move the pictures around a little bit more uh, but that's that's something that you have to really work out on a piece by piece basis but those that's how we found our pictures and next we're going to put them into our presentation i'm not going to start with a slide master this time because actually I'm not sure that that's really how this presentation is going to work because each is going to be a picture and we're going to move between one picture and the next. We don't really need a set background. So I'm going to go jump straight in on slide number one and I am going to look for my pictures. So I want to start off. I'm going to go up here. I've gone to insert pictures and picture from file. And I want to find my picture of the earth. So I'm going to have to scroll through. Where's that gone? Here we are. Okay, there it comes in. And again, like we did with our previous uh, video, we're going to have to stretch that image out from a corner. Remember, we always stretch from a corner. We don't want to distort the image. And then I'm just going to have to crop that. So I've pressed the crop tool up here and I've changed the size of my picture so that I know it fits exactly on my screen. Now, I want that to gradually fade in and i want it to fade in from black so i am actually going to change i'm just going to shuffle that out of the way for a second and i am going to change the background here i'll show you that again i've right clicked and i've gone to format background and over here we're just going to go to color and we're going to have it black okay that's just so that when this one fades in it's fading in to a screen which it fits in nicely with okay so how are we going to get it to fade in I'm going to click on my image there and I'm going to go to animations and I can choose through those, but I'm going to get to animation pane. It's always useful to have this open over here because then we can order what's going to happen in our, uh, in our presentation. Sorry. So here we are. We've got our image selected. We're going to click on this one. I want it to gradually fade. And we're going to start on click. I want that to take a little while, you know? So I'm gonna put in maybe four seconds. How, what does that look like when we do that? So if I go to full screen and I click it. So you see it gradually comes in from a black background. So it looks really nice. I think it probably needs to take longer than that. I'm not sure what the maximum is. I'm changing that up here on duration, by the way. So I've got fade. I can see my list of animations. If I've got more than one thing happening, it will come down there. And up here, I get to choose when it happens. So on click with the, same, with the previous thing or following the previous thing and how long it takes. So I want it to take, let's go for a full 10 seconds and let's see what that looks like. And there you are. Our introduction to the piece of music is probably going to take about 10 seconds. So if I was doing that in a live presentation, I might want to make it so that, that, that I have time to uh, to run that, check it with the piece of music. If I'm doing it with a recording later on, I can, I can show you how that's going to work and we're going to time it perfectly. Now, after a little while, we've got, uh, we've got four bars and then we've got our first line of lyrics. And I want to put in my first line of lyrics. So I'm going to go to insert, I'm going to text box, and I need to decide where on this picture I want my lyrics to come. I'm going to go for bottom left here. And it is God who made the earth. And it's horrible when people are watching you type. So I'm amazed that I got that right the first time. I'm highlighting all of my text. And I'm going to home up here. 
and deciding what color I want. And I want it to be very light blue. Now, like I said last time, we want that to be really clear. We want contrast to the background. So I'm going with a much bigger font. I'm going to go with, uh, let's go with 40 to start with. That's probably big enough. I think people are going to be able to see that. So I've highlighted up there. Uh, and now I'm going to choose a nice font. Uh, I'm going to go with Helvetica, which is one of my favorites. We used it last time. It's a nice, clear, easy to read font. And I want that to sit kind of comfortably in the bottom corner somewhere. Again, I'm not sure about that light blue now, so I'm going to change that to the lightest yellow and see what it looks like. That looks a bit cleaner, doesn't it? A li little bit clearer. But I am going to make sure that my font has an outline. We talked about this last time, so I'm going to go to, I've highlighted my text. I'm going to shape format up here. And I've got a choice for outlining my text. And there it is. Okay. And I'm going to just kind of go with a gray, I think, because it's not quite so in your face as a black line, it makes it complicated and difficult to read. And I want this to come up later on. So we're going to fade in on the image of, of the earth. And then after a little while, we're going to make that fade, that text fade up. So I want, want an animation here. And again, I want it to fade. So I'm going to scroll through here, fade. And now if you look over here on my animation pane, that's the second thing that happens. And it's going to happen when I click. So if I show you again on full screen mode, here's the start of our piece of music and we've got a four bar introduction as the image of the earth gradually fades in and we get to the end of bar four here we are in section a and here's my lyrics and they're going to fade in quite quickly because we need people to read them at the right time and then we need to get out in time for line two to start so we're not going to mess around with a, a, an exit there we're going to go straight into slide two so let's have uh, a new slide and it was God who made the earth. And then we were on to the see the sky, the air, that, that kind of thing. I, I've got the lyrics in the wrong line and wrong order, I'm sure. I'll have to check that in a second. And we have that picture of the sun over the waves, didn't we? That was going to do the job for two lines there. So here we are. I found it. Insert picture. I've gone through my downloads file. Here we are. Here's our picture of uh, the water and the sun over the top. Now I'm gonna crop, again, I've stretched it so it's bigger than my frame. I'm gonna make sure that it fits nicely to the size of my slide. And I'm gonna take off a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom this time, because I want to make sure I can still see the waves. I want to make sure I can still see the sun. So again, and I've, if you see that I've cropped it too small, can you see that white line there? If I full screen that, that's gonna look really unprofessional, really distracting. So let's get rid of that and we're going to I'm going to recrop that image and I'm going to just stretch that up so that there it is that's much better now we've not got that white line along the top it looks much much cleaner uh, I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to copy this this text box that I had last time I'm going to paste it in, in there. Again, it's on that bottom corner. Uh, again, for me, on that picture, that's where the text is going to look best. Um, although it might, might be up here. Yeah, no, I like that up there. So maybe we'll go with that. And I'm going to write in my lyrics, which are the air, the sea, there's the air, the sky, the sea. Okay, and that's come over here on my animation pane. Look, so if I go animations, here it is, it's fading in because we copied something that was already supposed to fade in. It's fading in. And that's good. And I want a second box. So I'm going to copy that one and I'm going to paste it here. And we're just going to line that up. And we're going to type in here who gave the, whoops, the light its birth. See on the animation pane, this one is going to happen first when you click. This one is going to happen second when you click and let's uh, do let's do one more slide and then we'll see the whole first verse together. And we're going to do he cares for me. So we had images of hand holding. We had images of embracing a father. So the dad with a baby there. That's a really nice image because it, it conjures up that idea of God caring for us in a really kind of gentle way. So there's, it's not um, not too on the nose. 
what well, a lot of the time we're looking for something which is going to give a feeling or uh, it's going to convey the same sort of idea to somebody without having to actually say to them, think about this. So here, this picture, and again, you've seen I've brought it, I've inserted it, insert picture from file, I've dropped it in, I've stretched it to this bigger than the size of my slide, and I've cropped it because uh, I wanted it to fit perfectly. And now we're going to copy a text box again from a previous slide so that we get that same font, same size, same color, same outline, same animation. This time I'm looking where on my slide have I got some space that is not going to get in the way. Maybe down here. No, I like down here because it's darker. And, but my lyric is, he cares for me. And I want it in that bottom corner. So I'm going to right align this one. And I'm just going to sit, get that to fit nicely over there, out of the way. Let's have a little look at our presentation so far. So we've got a gradual fade in over the introduction of the piece of music. I've got four bars there for that to happen. Then line one, God who made the earth. Ah, I have to click again to get the lyrics up and that probably needs to come with the previous. So I'm gonna go back and change that in a second. The air, the sky, the sea. Then I'm gonna click for my next one. Who gave the light its birth. Then onto the next slide. And again, I want it to come up simultaneously. He cares for me. So let's go back and let's make that happen. So here we wanted the first animation to happen when the slide came on. So let's go onto our animation over here. And number one, start with previous. So that's going to start when the slide comes up automatically. It's going to go the air, the sky, the sea fade in. I'm going to tell it when I want who gave the light its birth because we need to time that with the, the band or with the recording, depending on what we're using. And then again, this one, he cares for me. We want that with our previous so we want that to happen when the slide happens. So we'll just do these two slides. So if I, they are immediately comes up with that one, didn't press anything, who, the sky, the air, the sky, the sea, who gave the light its birth. I'm gonna click just before the line happens. He cares for me. Okay, so that's the start of our presentation. I'm gonna carry on making that presentation uh, and then I'm gonna show you what happens next. So I've carried on making my PowerPoint presentation. I've left a gap there that I'm not ready to fill just yet. I've got my second verse, or I'm using the lyrics from verse three. So here we go. I've got God who made the sun, uh, the moon, the stars is he. And these lyrics are coming up with the slides. When I get to here, who, when life's clouds come on, I've got two pictures of clouds because we get a repeat of that line in the music. And I'm just thinking about how actually I might want that, that picture. So I'm going to copy that picture. I might want that to gradually fade across this other picture. So here we are. I want to go. I've pasted it on top. You can't see anything else. So I'm going to move it back one. And I want it to come over the top of the other picture, but behind my text. So go to animations. I'm going to do a fade. I want it to come on my click. So I've gone to animations, fade. I want it to come on my click as the second thing that happens, but I want it to take a couple of seconds. Uh, let's go for three and see what that looks like. So let's just take a look at that. So we've got who, when life's clouds come on, that it repeats the line. We're going to keep the text there. And that image is going to fade across in the background. So instead of changing to the next slide and then have the lyrics fade up again, we can keep those lyrics exactly where they are and we can fade in the image behind. So we've got our last couple of slides here I want to show you. Uh, we've got this one, God who sent his son to die on Calvary, and God who sent his son, if we look on the animation slide, that comes with the previous, so it's going to be there automatically on the slide, and I'm going to click to die on Calvary. Again, he, if I lean on him, is going to come with the slide. Will care for me is going to come in after that. But actually, I want to keep that image on the screen for the code of the piece of music, so I need those, those lines to exit after a little while. So if I click on that these are the coming in animations. I want it to exit as well. So I want an animation here and I want it to gradually fade away. That's going to happen when I click. Uh, I want it to take maybe two seconds to happen. And then this one will care for me. I'm going to do it again. It's going to fade. And it's here, will care for me. I want it to fade, but I want it to happen after the previous one. And I want to take it a little bit longer. Let's have, 
let's have a look at what that looks like. So here's my last slide. He, if I lean on him, will care for me. And then we've got the coda is going to happen. That one's going to fade first. And will care for me is going to fade last. And so we've got this image. And I want that image to fade to a black screen gradually. So let's do that. Let's tell this image that after those things, we want the image to fade. And that can take even longer. So this one down here after the previous and like at the beginning I'm going to give it a full 10 seconds to happen and if that's going to fade away I'm just going to shuffle my image down we don't want the background white so I'm going to make this background black again so I'm going to right click on it I'm going to go to format background remember here we are this panel comes up over here I want it black there we go and now if I pop that on top he if I lean on him will care for me that one's going to fade as the coda happens will care for me is going to fade and then gradually the picture is going to go away so that as, as the band finish their playing the last thing happens their chord there's no distraction and they've finished their piece so here we are uh, i've finished my presentation pretty much there's a couple of things i wanted to show you though so uh one thing is when i've set my powerpoint up because uh, we're going straight from one side to the next like this, it's a bit jolty at the moment. Apart from the things where I've layered up two pictures like I showed you before. So we are going to add a transition. So at the top of my screen, if I go up here to transitions, I want it on all but the first and last slides in my presentation. And the reason I don't want it on those is because I've already set them up in a particular way to fade in gradually. Uh, but I want a transition on each of these slides. So I'm going to, I've highlighted all of my slides from two, right, to three to my penultimate one. And I'm just going to click on a on fade. And what that's going to do, if I now show you what that looks like, instead of that jolt between this is one screen, suddenly here's the next one. Here's my screen, the air, the sky, the sea, who gave the light its birth. And it just transitions a little bit more smoothly, that cross fade into my next image and there you are. it just all feels a bit more smooth and it's a little bit less jarring and we'll scroll through those images and we won't be going oh here's another one oh here's another one so we're at the point now where if this was for a live performance from from the band uh, then i would save this take this on a sunday morning and click it through along with the band practice i probably practice it one one or two more times with my recording i've missed out a lot of the process so that you don't have to sit and watch me just uh, clicking buttons on the on the laptop but we're at a position where that's final if that's the case but if we're playing this with a recording i can make this into a video clip so i want to go to my slideshow button at the top here and i can record my slideshow with specific timings okay i could rehearse my timings here but i want to record my slideshow with specific timing so i'm going to play my track i'm going to click this and it's going to time my performance you see here it's measuring my timing so i would go through this is the point at which i want this one to ha happen etc 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 now i'm not going to talk you through it because i'm going to just click through as if i was listening to a piece of music now and i click through and when i'm done i press end show and PowerPoint would remember my timings. So I could just put the track on and press play on the first slide and it would automatically roll through each of those parts of that presentation. But I'm not gonna do that now because I am gonna turn it into a video clip, which I will play at the end of this video so that you get the idea of what the performance is. <laughs>
So that's the presentation in full along with the track. We'll make it available to you as a video clip should you want to use that in worship or we'll make the presentation downloadable so that you can use it as a real live performance with your group if you want to. Uh, but I hope that that's been a useful video for those of you who needed it. Uh, if you need any more support with these kind of things so that we can make our worship uh, as accessible and as attractive as possible to people when they first engage with the Salvation Army, then that's really great. And we'll be happy to offer you that support here at Macca. Uh, all of those things that I've mentioned are downloadable. We'll put links in the video description. Uh, and please do get in touch with us if you need any more support. Thank you.